I'll be moving on at the end of the season to take up the position at St Mirren of the, the Chief Operating Officer. So a, a bit of a change for me in terms of being in the dugout and being involved in the, the, the football day-to-day -day stuff. It's more really of a holistic view of the, the football club as a whole and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to making that transition. I mean, I started my master's degree down in Manchester Metropolitan University uh, last year and it's a master's in sports directorship and, and looking at that side of the game really, looking at uh, the business side of the organisation as well as the football side. So it's certainly something that's got me thinking and that's really kind of stimulated me in that, in that mindset, if you like, of, of where I see myself moving in my football career. You can have a plan in football, but sometimes opportunities arise that take you maybe in a slightly different direction than you thought you were going in. So, you know, all I've tried to do from the start of my career is be prepared to take as many opportunities as I can. And I was determined to do that, uh, you know, from the minute I walked off a building site into this football club 20 years ago. I wanted to make the most of the opportunity of being involved in professional football. And what I've tried to do is, is get myself educated as much as I can to, to hopefully that to be the case. So, you know, even if with it being my coaching badges while I was still playing, or then on to my, my pro licence with a view to football management, and now doing my masters down in uh, Manchester with a view to having maybe a, a you know a different type of role at a football club. So I've always tried to be proactive with that, take myself out my comfort zone, and that's not to say I'll never go back to coaching and, and managing. You just never know in football, uh, but certainly at this stage, I feel it's the right move for me and something that. I'm excited about. I first walked in in 1999, which seems a long time ago, uh, which is because it was. But I, you know, I was just a totally different person at that that stage. I'd just finished my electrical apprenticeship. I came in for a trial initially, uh, which I'll never forget because I scored two goals. I think they thought they were signing a goal scoring midfield player, which they were quickly disappointed about and realised uh, after I signed. But that's a different story. But yeah, listen, uh, uh, you know, I think it's 20 years all in in terms of service. And there's been lots of ups and downs, as I'm sure any Motherwell fan or anybody connected to the club over a 20 year period, there's, there's going to be, and there certainly has been. But I've absolutely loved every minute of it and never taken it for granted. You could spend a lot of time going through a lot of highlights, but you know, there's a few in particular, certainly my debut. I make my debut at Ibrox as, as a 19 year old. Getting a phone call at my mum and dad's house as I, I was still staying at the time. That night's sleep never quite went as well how I thought it was going to go pre phone call. What I'm most proud of is, is really making my way through the club and establishing myself at the football club and you know having the privilege to become the captain of the football club, some European qualification, playing in cup finals, the moment Aberdeen away when you know I probably should have scored for the half line but I only hit the crossbar. It's Lasley deep into stoppage time. Up goes Sutton, no foul given care, and Reed is there to knock it in. And what a moment for Motherwell who have stolen second spot right at the death. Again, thinking back to getting a testimonial, things like that, you know, and, and feeling, you know, just the appreciation from the supporters was, you know, that was a really humbling experience for me. We playing Panathinaikos here in a Champions League game, you know, standing in a line with that Champions League music, which uh, technically I'm not sure we should have been playing, but it being a qualifier, but that's how we roll. But, you know, walking out there, my daughter was the mascot that night. So all of these things, when I start to think about it, come flooding back. And, and again, no matter what I'm going to do in, in the rest of my career, these are moments that will always be so special for me. Uh, and as I said, for, for my wife, Jane, and my, and, and my kids, Carrie and Alfie. That's it. All right, cheers. This football club has done. It will continue to be such a big part of my, my life. I can't think. Everybody individually, but just as a whole, the messages and everything I've had, I fucking thank you for the ball. It was always going to be a big decision for me. I thought of leaving this football club is is big for me. It's a big decision. It's there's. I mean, my, my two kids are still not speaking to me, but, you know, we'll, we'll just need to kind of negotiate that. Uh, but, listen, it, it's always going to be a big call, but professionally, in professional football, it's a tough business, it's a hard business, and just for me at this moment in time, it's the right decision. As I said, that's not to say that I, I won't be back, be it in an official capacity or an unofficial capacity, this club will always be a, a big part of my life. But, yeah, I think just professionally, it is, it's, it's, it's the right decision at this time and the right opportunity. Yeah. <laughs>